click on a region of the map to go there to search for a sick animal. The savanna is home to many animals. Watch closely and the animals may come around. Keep your eye out for animals that look like they might be sick. If you see a sick creature, clicking on it will bring it to the field hospital for examination. If you want to play Way Cool or Animal Crackers, use the activity buttons. If you want to use the map, choose the map button. Choose the field hospital if you want to see what's inside. If you need help, choose the help button. Oh, you've brought an animal in for examination. The field hospital is where you will help me examine, diagnose, and treat the animals. First, let me explain the diagnostic chart. This chart will pop up at the end of each tool reading to record the results. At the end of each exam, we will use the information on the diagnostic chart to diagnose and treat the patient. Choose a tool to see how it works. Choose the Help button if you need help. Our scale is like a large bathroom scale. Just like people, animals have an ideal weight. If they weigh more or less than they should, that could mean something's wrong. This animal's weight is normal. Veterinarians use stethoscopes to listen to sounds from inside an animal's body. A heartbeat, for instance, or the sound in an animal's lungs. The animal's heart rate is normal. This animal's lungs sound normal. This special thermometer can tell an animal's temperature by placing it against the skin. The screen tells us if an animal's temperature is too high, too low, or just right. This animal's temperature is normal. Microscopes are used to examine cells, tissues, and other things too small to be seen by the naked eye. Sometimes animal health problems can be diagnosed through microscope readings. To focus the slide, use this focus button. The slide on the left shows a healthy slide sample. The slide on the right has been taken from the patient. Circle the areas of the patient sample that look different from the healthy sample. Let's take a look at these cheetah blood samples. Well, this sample looks healthy, let's move on to another exam tool. This sample looks healthy. This is the vet view machine. There are three different tools you can use in the vet view. To see the patient's bones, choose the X-ray bones button. To see the patient's organs, choose the X-ray organs button. To look at the animal more closely, choose the magnifying glass button and then click on the highlighted areas of the patient. Everything looks healthy here. Everything looks healthy here. I don't see any problems here. I don't see any problems here. Normal. Normal. All the tool readings are normal. This animal is healthy. Choose the Done button to go back to a region and find a sick animal.
you've brought an animal in for examination. The animal's heart rate is fast. This animal's lungs sound normal. This animal's temperature is normal. The bighorn's foot is very swollen. This foot is broken. I don't see any problems here. Swollen foot. Broken foot bone. Bighorn sheep blood samples. Let's take a look. Well, this sample looks healthy. Let's move on to another exam tool. Healthy blood sample. This animal's weight is low. The bighorn's weight is low, but the temperature reading is normal. The heart rate reading is fast, but the lungs are normal. The microscope reveals a healthy blood sample, but the magnifying glass lets us see the bighorn's swollen, throbbing foot. The x-ray reading is very important. It reveals a broken bone in the foot. The bighorn sheep has a broken foot. Now that we know what the problem is, I will set up three trays full of different treatments. You need to pick the tray that contains the proper treatment for the animal. Dewormer pills, cast, pain, antibiotic eye drops, pain pills, eye patch. Cast, pain pills. Excellent work. The cast will allow the foot bones to mend properly. Pain pills will help the bighorn rest comfortably while healing. Six weeks of hospital stay and x-rays every two weeks will allow the bighorn's foot to heal properly. Congratulations! You really earned this certificate. Oh, great! You're back! There are still sick animals in the Cloud Nine Animal Park that need care. Found the bad dinkum, Doctor. What do we have to do? Oh, you've brought an animal in for examination. The snake's gums look very irritated and some teeth are missing. Hmm, some teeth are missing. I don't see any problems here. Swollen gums, missing teeth. Missing teeth. This animal's weight is low. The animal's heart rate is normal. This animal's lungs sound normal. This animal's temperature is normal. Let's examine these garter snake blood samples. Oh, a white blood cell. Go ahead and circle the others. Good work. You found the white blood cells. They fight infection. Sample reveals infection. The garter snake's weight is low. The heart rate reading is normal. The temperature and lung readings are normal as well. The microscope reveals an infected blood sample, and the magnifying glass shows swollen gums and missing teeth. The x-ray results also show missing teeth.
The examination reveals stomatitis, a type of mouth infection. Now that we know what the problem is, I will set up three trays full of different treatments. You need to pick the tray that contains the proper treatment for the animal. Mouth disinfectant, antibiotics, good food. Wing bandage, pain pills. Good job! Cleaning the mouth out was very important, and the antibiotics will fight off the infection. Good food will help the snake stay healthy. The low weight and blood infection were strong signs that the snake was unhealthy. But the missing teeth and swollen gums led me to the mouth infection diagnosis. The garter snake should stay at the hospital for a few days for some warm, quiet recovery time, and we should recheck its mouth in a week. Congratulations! You really earned this certificate. Garter snake. You're a great help. Thanks so much. You really earned this certificate. Bighorn sheep. You're a two star pooper scooper. Pooper scooper. Oh, great. You're. Oh, you've brought an animal in for examination. The animal's heart rate is normal. This animal's lungs sound normal. This animal's temperature is normal. Take a look at these samples taken from the dog. Oh, a flea. Go ahead and circle the others. This sample allows us to see fleas. Sample reveals fleas. This animal's weight is low. I don't see any problems here. I don't see any problems here. Hmm, fleas, and the skin is irritated. Everything looks healthy here. Irritated skin and fleas. Normal. The dog's weight is low, but its heart rate reading is normal. Both the temperature and lung readings are normal. The microscope allows us to see a flea sample, and with the magnifying glass, we can see irritated skin and fleas. The x-ray shows no problems. The dog suffers from fleas. Now that we know what the problem is, I will set up three trays full of different treatments. You need to pick the tray that contains the proper treatment for the animal. Bath, flea spray, flea collar, flea pills. Good job. A bath and flea spray will get rid of the fleas on the dog. A flea collar and flea pills will help keep fleas from reinfesting the dog. Be sure to clean the areas where the dog spends most of its time. Congratulations! You really earned this certificate. Dog. My foot feels brand new, thanks to you. Dad. My mouth is feeling fine, and thanks for taking the time. Done! I feel like barking with glee now that I'm free of fleas.
Oh, you've brought an animal in for examination. Ooh, look at this cut. It's very inflamed. Everything looks healthy here. I don't see any problems here. I don't see any problems here. Red swollen hip wound. Normal. This animal's weight is low. The animal's heart rate is fast. This animal's lungs sound normal. This animal's temperature is normal. Let's take a look at these cheetah blood samples. Oh, a white blood cell. Go ahead and circle the others. Oh, bacteria. Go ahead and circle the others. Good work. This sample contains bacteria and white blood cells. That means infection. Sample reveals infection. The cheetah's weight is low and its heart rate is fast. Both the temperature and lung readings are normal. The microscope blood sample shows infection, and the magnifying glass allows us to see a red, swollen wound on the hip area. The x-ray reveals no problems. The cheetah has an infected cut on its hip. Now that we know what the problem is, I will set up three trays full of different treatments. You need to pick the tray that contains the proper treatment for the animal. Hair clippers, disinfectant soap, needle and thread, antibiotics, and pain pills. Correct. Cleaning the area with disinfectant soap and antibiotics will help fight infection. Stitches will let the wound heal properly, and pain pills will allow comfortable rest. The cheetah stitches should be removed in two weeks. Congratulations! You really earned this certificate. Cheetah. Pooper scooper. Oh, you've brought an animal in for examination. The animal's heart rate is normal. This reading is normal. Take a look at these koi skin scrape samples. A parasite. Go ahead and circle the others. This skin scrape sample reveals parasites. Good job pointing them out. Sample reveals parasites. This animal's temperature is low. This animal's weight is low. There are white spots on the scales, gills, and fins. Everything looks healthy here. I don't see any problems here. I don't see any problems here. White spots on scales and fins. Normal. The koi's weight is low and its heart rate is normal. The temperature reading is low, but the lung reading is normal. The microscope sample reveals parasites, and with the magnifying glass, we could see white spots on the scales and fins.
The koi's x-ray reading is normal. The koi suffers from white spot disease. Now that we know what the problem is, I will set up three trays full of different treatments. You need to pick the tray that contains the proper treatment for the animal. Clean water, disinfectant for water, good filter. Hair clippers, disinfectant, tweezers, antibiotics, painkillers. Great work! Cleaning and disinfecting the water is very important. A good water filter will help keep the koi's water clean. A fish needs a clean environment to stay healthy. All fish owners should have a book on proper fish care. Congratulations! You really earned this certificate. Koi fish. Critter cleaner. You're a one-star critter cleaner. Oh, you've brought an animal in for examination. This animal's weight is normal. The animal's heart rate is fast. This animal's lungs sound normal. This animal's temperature is normal. Everything looks healthy here. The black bear's face is swollen and I see stingers. I don't see any problems here. I don't see any problems here. Stingers and swelling. Normal. Go ahead and focus these black bear bloods. Well, this sample looks healthy. Let's move on to another exam tool. Healthy blood sample. The black bear weight reading is normal, and the heart rate reading is fast. The temperature and lung readings are normal. The microscope slide sample is normal. But stingers and swelling can be seen with the magnifying glass. The x-ray shows no problems. The black bear has multiple bee stings. Now that we know what the problem is, I will set up three trays full of different treatments. You need to pick the tray that contains the proper treatment for the animal. Antihistamines, topical swelling solution, Tweezers. You did it! Removing the stingers really helped. Antihistamines will help reduce the bear's reaction to the bee stings, and the topical solution will reduce the swelling. The swollen face and stingers made it rather obvious that the bear had been stung by bees. Great job picking the treatments. Congratulations! You really earned this certificate.
Oh, you've brought an animal in for examination. Coyote eye discharge samples. Let's take a look. Oh, a white blood cell. Go ahead and circle the others. Oh, bacteria. Go ahead and circle the others. Good work. This sample contains bacteria and white blood cells. That means infection. Sample reveals eye infection. Oh, the eye area is red and swollen. Everything looks healthy here. I don't see any problems here. I don't see any problems here. Red swollen eye area. Normal. This animal's weight is normal. The animal's heart rate is fast. This animal's lungs sound normal. This animal's temperature is normal. The coyote's weight and temperature are normal. Its heart rate is fast, but the lung reading is normal. The microscope reveals infected eye discharge, and with the magnifying glass, the eye looks very red and swollen, but the x-ray is normal. The coyote has an eye infection. Now that we know what the problem is, I will set up three trays. Antibiotic eye drop. Excellent job! The antibiotic eye drops will fight the eye infection, and the pain pills will allow the coyote to rest in comfort. The eye patch helps protect the eye while it heals. Great work. Congratulations. You really earned this certificate. Oh, you've brought an animal in for examination. Everything looks healthy here. Are you sure you want to leave? The patient's exam is incomplete. Normal. I don't see any problems here. I don't see any problems here. Normal. Are you sure you want to leave the field?
you've brought an animal in for examination. This animal's weight is normal. This animal's temperature is normal. The animal's heart rate is fast. This animal's lungs sound normal. Let's examine these elephant blood samples. Well, this sample looks healthy. Let's move on to another exam tool. Healthy blood sample. The elephant's knee is swollen. I don't see any problems here. I don't see any problems here. Everything looks healthy here. Throbbing swollen knee. Normal. The elephant's weight and temperature are normal. The heart rate reading is fast, but the lungs are normal. The microscope shows no problems, but the magnifying glass reveals a throbbing, swollen knee. The x-ray reading is normal. The elephant has a sprained knee. Now that we know what the problem is, I will set up three trays. Bandage, splint, pain pills, ice pack. Dewormer shots. And good job. This diagnosis was tough. The magnifying glass reading was the most helpful. The ice pack will reduce the swelling, and the bandages and splint will allow the knee to mend properly. The elephant should stay in bed for two weeks. Congratulations! You really earned this certificate. you've brought an animal in for examination. <sighs> the animal's heart rate is fast. This animal's lungs sound sick. This animal's temperature is normal. Take a look at these desert tortoise throat cultures. Oh, bacteria. Go ahead and circle the others. This tissue sample reveals infection. Good job finding the bacteria. Sample reveals throat infection. This animal's weight is low. Hmm, the nose area is red. Oh, the lungs look unhealthy. I don't see any problems here. Red nose area. Unhealthy lungs. The desert tortoise's weight is low, but its heart rate is fast. The temperature reading is normal, but the lungs sound unhealthy. The microscope reveals an infected throat culture, and with the magnifying glass, we could see redness in the nose area. The x ray shows unhealthy lungs. The desert tortoise has pneumonia. Now that we know what the problem is, I will set up three trays full of different treatments. You need to pick the tray that contains the proper treatment for the animal. Antibiotic pills. Great work! 
The fluffy appearance to the lungs was what allowed me to diagnose. Pneumonia is best treated with antibiotics and quiet bed rest. The tortoise should be re-examined in two weeks. Congratulations! You really earned this certificate. Creature feeder. You're a one-star creature feeder. Desert tortoise. Oh, you've brought an animal in for examination. Everything looks healthy here. Everything looks healthy here. Everything looks healthy here. I don't see any problems here. These bone ends don't look healthy. These bone ends don't look healthy. Normal. Unhealthy bone ends. The animal's heart rate is fast. This animal's lungs sound normal. This animal's temperature is normal. Let's examine these gray wolf bone samples. Well, this sample looks healthy. Let's move on to another exam tool. Healthy bone sample. This animal's weight is low. The wolf's weight is low and its heart rate is fast. The temperature and lung readings are normal. The microscope reveals a healthy bone sample and the magnifying glass shows a healthy sample. But the x-ray reading, showing the unhealthy looking bone ends, is the most revealing. The wolf is suffering from arthritis. Now that we know what the problem is, I will set up three trays full of different tr pain pills. Good job. This diagnosis was a little tough. The unhealthy bone ends we could see with the magnifying glass helped me diagnose the wolf. Arthritis usually occurs in older animals. The pain pills will allow the wolf to rest in comfort. Confinement and rest is a good idea until the wolf is feeling better. Congratulations! You really earned this certificate. Oh, you've brought an animal in for examination. The animal's heart rate is fast. This animal's lungs sound normal. Oh, the stomach is quite swollen. The ostrich's stomach is enlarged. I don't see any problems here. Swollen stomach. Enlarged stomach. This animal's weight is high. Let's examine these ostrich. Well, this sample looks healthy. Let's move on. Healthy stool sample. This animal's temperature is normal. The ostrich's weight is high. Its heart rate is fast. 
both the temperature and lungs have a normal reading. The microscope reveals a normal stool sample, but the magnifying glass allows us to see that the stomach area is swollen. The x-ray shows a throbbing and swollen stomach. The ostrich has a stomach ache from overeating. Now that we know what the problem is, I will set up three trays full of different treatments. You need to pick the tray that contains the proper treatment. Stomach antacid, pain pills. Great job! The enlarged stomach is due to overeating. The antacid will help the ostrich's stomach feel better. Pain pills will allow it to heal comfortably. No food should be given to the ostrich for one day. Congratulations! You really earned this certificate. Oh, you've brought an animal in for examination. Ooh, the udder is red and inflamed. Everything looks healthy here. I don't see any problems here. I don't see any problems here. Red inflamed udder. Normal. This animal's weight is normal. Go ahead and focus these cow blood samples. Oh, a white blood cell. Go ahead and circle the others. Oh, bacteria. Good work. This sample contains bacteria and white blood cells. That means infection. Sample reveals infection. The animal's heart rate is fast. This animal's lungs sound normal. This animal's temperature is high. The cow's weight is normal, but its heart rate is fast. The temperature reading is high, but the lung reading is normal. The microscope sample reveals infection, and with the magnifying glass, we could see that the cow's udder is red and inflamed. The x-ray reading is normal. The cow has an udder infection. Now that we know what the problem is, I will set up three trays full of different antibiotics, painkillers. Good work. The antibiotics will fight off the infection and the pain pills will allow the cow to rest comfortably while healing. Congratulations! You really earned this certificate. You're a four-star creature feeder. Oh, you've brought an animal in for examination. The rattlesnake's weight is low. See how you can see its spine? Oh, there are worms in the rattlesnake's intestines. I don't see any problems here. Visible weight loss. Worms in intestines. This animal's weight is low. Rattlesnake stool samples. Let's take a look. Hmm, parasite eggs. Go ahead and circle the others.
This stool sample has parasite eggs in it. That's a good sign that the rattlesnake suffers from adult parasites. Sample reveals parasite eggs. This animal's temperature is normal. The animal's heart rate is fast. This animal's lungs sound normal. The rattlesnake's weight is low, but its temperature is normal. The heart rate is fast, but the lung reading is normal. The microscope reveals parasite eggs in the stool sample, and the magnifying glass shows visible weight loss. The x-ray is the most revealing. It shows adult worms in the intestines. Don't forget to stay clear of the mouth area when treating. Rattlesnakes are venomous. The rattlesnake is suffering from internal parasites. Now that we know what the problem is, dewormer shots, lots of fluids. Good treatment choice. The dewormer shot will remove most of the parasites from the rattlesnake system, but a second shot should be given in a week to fully treat the condition. Lots of fluids and good food will help the snake gain its health back. Congratulations! You really earned this certificate. You're a one-star wilderness watcher. Oh, you've brought an animal in. Oh, the wing bone is broken. I don't see any problems here. Hmm, the feathers look ruffled. Ruffled feathers. Broken wing. The animal's heart rate is fast. This animal's lungs sound normal. This animal's temperature is normal. This animal's weight is low. Take a look at these bald eagle feather samples. Well, this sample looks healthy. Let's move on to another exam tool. Healthy feather sample. The bald eagle's weight is low. Its heart rate is fast. The temperature and lung readings are normal. The microscope reveals a normal feather, but the magnifying glass shows ruffled feathers. The x-ray is the most important reading. It shows a fractured wing. The bald eagle suffers from a broken wing. Now that we know what the problem is, wing bandage, pain pills. Great, you picked the right treatment. The pain pills will reduce the eagle's pain, and the bandages will restrain the wing, allowing it to heal. The x-ray showing the fractured wing was just the reading we needed to diagnose the eagle properly. The eagle should not fly for six weeks, and it should return for a checkup and new bandages every two weeks until the wing is healed. Congratulations! You really earned this certificate. Oh, you've brought an animal in. This animal's weight is normal.
The animal's heart rate is fast. This animal's lungs sound normal. This animal's temperature is high. Let's examine these zebra tissue samples. Oh, a white blood cell. Oh, bacteria. Good work. This sample contains bacteria and white blood cells. That means infection. Sample reveals inflammation. Hmm, there's a bite mark. It looks swollen. I don't see any problems here. I don't see any problems here. Swollen bite mark. Normal. The zebra's weight is normal, but its temperature is high. The heart rate reading is fast, but the lungs are normal. The microscope reveals red inflamed skin tissue, and the magnifying glass allows us to see a swollen bite wound. The x-ray reveals no problems. The zebra has an infected bite wound on its tail. Now that we know what the problem is, I will... Soap and water, topical antibiotics, Bandages. Good treatment choice. Cleansing and applying antibiotics to the bite area will fight off infection. The bandages will keep the area clean and protected. The zebra should come back in a week for a checkup. Congratulations! You really earned this certificate. Oh, you've brought an animal in for examination. The animal's heart rate is fast. This animal's lungs sound normal. This animal's temperature is high. Let's examine these pig blood samples. Oh, a white blood cell. Oh, bacteria. Go ahead. Good work. This sample contains bacteria and white blood cells. That means infection. Sample reveals inflammation. This animal's weight is normal. Hmm, flushed cheeks. I don't see any problems here. I don't see any problems here. Flushed cheeks. Normal. The pig's weight is normal, but its heart rate is fast. The temperature reading is high, and the lung reading is normal. The microscope sample reveals inflammation, and with the magnifying glass, we can see that the pig has flushed cheeks. The x-ray reveals no problems. The pig has a fever. Now that we know what the problem is, I will set up three trays full of different treatments. Cast, pink, aspirin. Aspirin will help reduce the fever. The pig should stay at the field hospital until the fever breaks. Pigs need annual vaccinations, and if they don't get them, it can cause health problems. Congratulations! You really earned this certificate.
Oh, you've brought an animal in for examination. This animal's weight is normal. There's a puncture wound on the armadillo's foot. It's red and irritated. I don't see any problems here. I don't see any problems here. Puncture wound on foot. Normal. The animal's heart rate is fast. This animal's lungs sound normal. This animal's temperature is high. Go ahead and focus. Well, this sample looks healthy. Let's move on to another exam tool. Healthy blood sample. The armadillo's weight is normal, but the temperature reading is high. The heart rate reading is fast, and the lung reading is normal. The microscope shows no problems, but the magnifying glass reveals a red swollen puncture wound on the foot. The x-ray shows no bone problems. The armadillo's foot has been stung by a scorpion. Now that we know what the problem is, I will set up three trays full of different treatments. You need to pick the tray that contains the proper treatment for the animal. Antihistamines, soap and water, analgesic, bandages. Good work. Cleansing the area is important. The antihistamine will help with the reaction to the scorpion venom. The analgesic is for reducing the pain and the bandages are used to keep the area clean. The armadillo should stay the night for observation and a bandage change. Congratulations! You really earned this certificate. Oh, you've brought an animal in for it. This animal's weight is low. Everything looks healthy here. The moose has an uneven coat. Everything looks healthy here. Oh, there are adult worms in the intestines. I don't see any problems here. Uneven, unhealthy coat. Adult worms in intestines. The animal's heart rate is normal. This animal's lungs sound normal.
This animal's temperature is normal. Go ahead and focus these moose stool samples. Hmm, a worm egg. This stool sample reveals worm eggs. Good job pointing them out. Sample reveals worm eggs. The moose's weight is low. Its heart rate is normal. The temperature and lung readings are also normal. The microscope sample reveals worm eggs. And the magnifying glass shows an uneven hair coat. The x-ray results show adult worms in the intestines. The moose is suffering from internal parasites. Now that we know what the problem is, dewormer pills, high quality food. Good choice. Dewormer pills will get rid of the moose's parasites and the high quality food will help the moose get its health back in order. The moose should come back in two weeks for a checkup. Nice work. Congratulations, you really earned this certificate. Oh great, you're back. you've brought an animal in. This tooth is fractured and it looks infected. I don't see any problems here. The meerkat has a fractured tooth. Fractured tooth. Fractured tooth. The animal's heart rate is fast. This animal's lungs sound normal. This animal's temperature is high. Let's take a look at these meerkat... Oh, a white blood cell. Go ahead and circle the others. Oh, bacteria. This gum sample is infected. Thanks for finding the white blood cells and bacteria. Sample reveals infection. This animal's weight is low. The meerkat's weight is low and its temperature is high. The heart rate reading is fast, but the lungs are normal. The microscope sample reveals infection. Both the magnifying glass and x-ray reveal a fractured tooth. The meerkat is suffering from a toothache. Now that we know what the problem is, antibiotics, tooth filling, pain pills. Great work. Filling the tooth is important. The pain pills will allow the meerkat to rest comfortably and the antibiotics will fight off infection. Congratulations, you really earned this certificate. You're a three-star animal aid. Oh, 
you've brought an animal in for examination. The animal's heart rate is fast. This animal's lungs sound normal. This animal's temperature is normal. Let's examine these vulture feather samples. Oh, an ectoparasite. Go ahead and circle the others. Oh, ectoparasite eggs. Go ahead and circle the others. Good job finding all of the ectoparasites in this feather sample. The vulture is most likely suffering from lice. Sample reveals ectoparasites. This animal's weight is low. Ooh, the skin is red and irritated, and I see lice. I don't see any problems here. I don't see any problems here. Lice and feathers. Normal. The vulture's weight is low, but its temperature is normal. The heart rate reading is fast, and the lung reading is normal. The microscope and the magnifying glass reveal ectoparasites in the feathers and red, irritated skin. The x-ray shows no problems. The vulture has feather lice. Now that we know what the problem is, I will set it. Quality food, larger cage. Disinfectant bath, delousing spray. Good choice. The disinfectant bath and delousing spray will kill off the lice. The vulture should be checked again in two weeks to be sure the lice is completely gone. Congratulations! You really earned this certificate. Oh, you've brought an animal in. This animal's weight is normal. Everything looks healthy here. Are you sure you want to... Normal. Are you sure you want to leave... you've brought an animal in for examination. Hmm, there are stress lines on the feathers. I don't see any problems here. 
These bones are very thin. It might be metabolic bone disease. Stress lines on feathers. Thin bones. This animal's temperature is normal. The animal's heart rate is normal. This animal's lungs sound normal. Let's examine these cockatiel bone samples. Well, this sample looks healthy. Let's move on to another exam tool. Healthy bone sample. This animal's weight is low. The cockatiel's weight is low and its heart rate is normal. Both the temperature and lung readings are normal. The microscope reveals a healthy bone sample, but through the magnifying glass, we can see stress lines on the feathers. The x-ray allows us to see the cockatiel's thin bones. The cockatiel suffers from malnutrition. Now that we know what the problem is, I will set up quality food, larger cage. Good choice. A balanced diet is very important, and quality food is necessary to avoid malnutrition. A larger cage will give the cockatiel more space to move about. All bird owners should own a book on bird care. Congratulations! You really earned this certificate. Veterinarian's assistant. Oh, you've brought an animal in for examination. Oh, a splinter. The gums are very swollen and possibly infected. I don't see any problems here. I don't see any problems here. A splinter. Normal. This animal's weight is low. The animal's heart rate is fast. This animal's lungs sound normal. This animal's temperature is high. Beaver gum tissue samples. Let's take a look. Oh, a white blood cell. Go ahead and circle the others. Oh, bacteria. This gum sample is infected. Thanks for finding the white blood cells and bacteria. Sample reveals infection. The beaver's weight is low. The heart rate reading is fast. The lungs have a normal reading. The microscope sample shows an infected gum sample. The magnifying glass reveals a splinter, which caused swelling and possible gum infection. But the x-ray reading shows no bone problems. A splinter in the beaver's gum has caused infection. Now that we know what the problem is, I Painkillers, antibiotics, tweezers. Excellent work! Removing the splinter was very important. The antibiotics will fight off infection, and the pain pills will help the beaver relax without hurting so much. The beaver should stay at the hospital for a few days. Congratulations! You really earned this certificate.
Oh, you've brought an animal in for examination. This animal's weight is normal. Hmm, there is a twig in the rhino's nostril. I don't see any problems here. The rhinoceros has an object in its nose. Foreign object in nose. Object in nose. Go ahead and focus these run. Well, this sample looks healthy. Let's move on to another exam tool. Healthy blood sample. The animal's heart rate is normal. This animal's lungs sound normal. This animal's temperature is normal. The rhino's weight and heart readings are normal. The temperature reading is also normal. A snorting sound can be heard with the stethoscope. The microscope shows a normal blood sample, but a foreign object in the nose can be seen with the magnifying glass and x-ray. The rhino has something caught in its nasal passage. Now that we know what the problem is, I will... Tweezers? Antibiotics, painkillers. Good work, you picked the correct treatment. The tweezers are used to remove the object from the rhino's nostril. The antibiotics will fight off infection and the pain pills will let the rhinoceros heal comfortably. A checkup in five days is a good idea. Congratulations, you really earned this certificate. you've brought an animal in for examination. This animal's weight is normal. Go ahead and focus the horse. Well, this sample looks healthy. Let's move on to another exam tool. Healthy blood sample. The animal's heart rate is fast. This animal's lungs sound normal. This animal's temperature is normal. Oh, there's a stone in the hoof. The area is bruised and bleeding. I don't see any problems here. The bones are healthy, but there's a stone in the horse's hoof. Stone in hoof. Stone in hoof. The horse's weight is normal, but its heart rate is fast. Both the temperature and lung readings are normal. The microscope reveals a healthy blood sample. With the magnifying glass and x-ray, we could see a stone in the horse's hoof. The horse has a stone embedded in its hoof. Now that we know what the problem is, I will set up three trays full of different treatments. You need to pick hoof tools, tweezers, disinfectant, bandages, antibiotics, pain pills. Good choice. The hoof tools and tweezers are used to remove the stone from the horse's hoof. The disinfectant is used to cleanse the area. The antibiotics will fight infection and the pain pills will reduce the horse's discomfort. 
Congratulations, you really earned this certificate. You're a four-star veterinarian's assistant.